Welcome to Future Wrestling. I'm alongside Scotty Bear once again for episode number four. Welcome, Scotty. It's great to be back. Why are you so upset? Because they still haven't paid me my money. Okay. Bitches. Well, absolutely. Can't believe it that they owe you a million dollars. But uh, other than that, we have a big show for you guys uh, tonight, and I'm excited about this. And uh, for anybody that does not know, this is going to be one of the most action-packed, shocking episodes of future wrestling that we've had since day one. Are you excited and ready for this, Scotty Bear? It's going to be better than WCW, but less than TNA. That's very harsh, Scotty Bear. But let's uh, get ready for the very first match. We're ready for um, Chad Gable taking on Roderick Strong. Chad Gable uh, making his in-ring debut tonight against uh, Roderick Strong of the Undisputed Era. Uh, should I even ask you who you predict in this match? No, no predictions. No predictions? You don't want to go like 0-9 like last time? 0-9? Oh, Excuse me, I won that pay-per-view match, if you remember correctly. Yeah, you did predict the, the main event pretty well, didn't you? Yes, I did. You can replay that, too. Yeah, yeah. I will. On my downtime. But Chad Gable is out here ready to go against Roderick Strong, and I'm excited about this debut for Chad Gable. Or, you know, the future is bright. I wonder if uh, we'll see, like, a Jordan, you know, Jason Jordan coming in maybe soon later down the road. You never know. Yeah. Gable has... I'm I'm not going to discredit him at all. Gable has the experience and the skill to do his best. But will it be best against my favorite boy of all time, Roderick Strong? Yeah, yeah well, Roderick Strong has... Uh, you know, he, he, at Dustin for Greatness, was very close to winning the briefcase, but that was all Finn Balor. Indeed it was. But, Roderick Strong can come back with a good win against Mr. Gable, and I think he's going to do it. Good Let's see what happens. It's a good possibility. And the, the, the greatness about this match, and what I'm really excited about, is it's two technical wrestlers. Uh, you know Chad Gable's background in wrestling? And mm -hmm. Roderick Strong, you can't, you know, you can't under... Uh, I can't even talk right now because I'm so excited about this match. Look at that. Just mm -hmm. look at it. Let's see what happens with Roddy here. Ooh, nice forearm. And yes, your favorite referee is back for tonight. Can't believe it. People need to re need to go to change.org and find this, um, what is it, this petition that they got up on there. And, you know... Sign your names onto it. This referee is terrible. Yeah, I mean, look at him. He's almost in the way of the wrestling match here. And as you can see, Roger Strong is actually uh, coming off slow in this match. Chad Gable's actually give it, you know, uh, got the momentum already in the beginning. Yes, Ooh. indeed. What is Roger Strong? Th Ooh, oh my! Ah, you never want to see the arm bend that way. Yes doing very well. I'm wondering if he's going to try and go for the arm. Mm. Did you see that? Yep. The master of the backbreaker. Oh, Chad Gable. Oh! Spinning heel kick reversal. I love that one. Was he trying to be RVD? Or Shelton Benjamin? Uh. Mm. Okay. Okay, Chad Gable. I'll see you working. That big belly to belly. That was a one count. One count. It didn't even look like a one count. It should have been a one count. Chad Gable on the second rope and got knocked down there very quick. That's Roger Strong. Oh! Oh, but Chad Gable <laughs> reversing. Oh, and then they both went for a drop kick. 
And Rodney Double drop kick. Jesus. Well, when you're... Oh, look at that toss by Chad Gable. And what, one thing I like about Chad Gable is uh, he he knows how to really uh, put on the wrestling moves, too. Indeed. It's that, it's that NCAA and that Olympic background he's got. I, I don't know if this is it. Referee's kind of oh. slow. Again, why is this referee so slow? Come on. Not even a one count, I don't think, for Chad Gable. I know. Like, this dude, like, come on. <laughs> My dudes. Oh, what a block. Oh, a belly-to-belly -belly suplex on Chad Gable, giving him a little bit of a taste of his own medicine. It's been really good between these two right now. I'm wondering when the cheating will start. I, I wonder, too, and that knee... You know, that, that can really do some damage One, to the knee. Two. That was three. Oh, no, it was only a two count. That was seriously three. Can't believe him. This ref is so stupid. Oh, stop blaming the referee. Chad Gable was just so smart with that. Irish whip. Oh, a running knee to the face. Oh, oh Olympic slam. Oh, man, definitely giving him another taste of his own medicine. Wrenching the arm back. Chad Gable's not having any of it to the midsection. That was a dick punch. That was not, no. That was not. <laughs> that was, you could clearly tell. Punch straight downstairs. Can't believe him. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, the backbreaker again! Roderick Strong getting the momentum, but Chad Gable is still fighting back. Not giving up. He's doing really, really well. Let's see what happens next. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh! oh headbutt! Mm. Uh oh. Ooh! Oh, Good like belly to back that. suplex. Definitely really good. That Chad Gable was starting to really hurt right now. What is this? Ooh. Oh, gut buster. Oh. Looks like Roderick Strong thinks this match is over. He's going for the cover. Well, that was oh. a long count. Wow. Chad Gable is just never give up. And Roderick Strong was not happy with that. Oh, look at that again. A one count. What has Roger Strong got to do to Chad Gable here? He's got to out wrestle him. He has to out wrestle him. Ooh, then ooh, look at that! Look at that drop kick. That was beautifully done. I got to give it. Got to give it to Chad Gable, fighting back in this match. Ooh. Oh, into the bridge! Oh, one count. Man, this referee might have to replace him. Wait, you have to replace him? I might have to replace him. Are you Jack Tunney over here or what? Jack Tunney, you mean Jim Tunney. I might have to yeah, call Jim, Jim Tunney. Tunney. Oh, look at that. Another bridge. But Roderick Strong kicking out at two. That was definitely a one count. Oh, come on now. Jack Gable's trying to get this momentum. Close line. Oh. Can he do it? Oh, look at that. Chad Gable. Momentum is shifting for Chad Gable. Can he do it? Going up top. What is he thinking? Don't do it. What is he thinking, Scotty? He shouldn't oh. have dropped the elbow. Should not have because there was no water in that pool. Exactly. And now he's got the, the headlock wearing Chad Gable down. But Chad Gable's fighting, fighting, trying to get up. Oh, to the midsection. Can Chad Gable fight back? Should oh, need him this? up in the higher back area. Oh, now Roderick Strong just tossing him over the top rope. And that's a big fall. This has been a really good reversal uh, type match. Dude, look at that. Another one. Oh, right into the apron. What's the what is your keys to victory for both of these guys, uh, Scotty Bear? Well, for Gable, keep wrestling. 
for uh, Mr. Strong, I say wrestle for a little bit and now cheat. Now oh, I would start cheating. Cheat. Of course, you would want to cheat. Hey, listen. If you can't be good at wrestling him in his own game, it's a good time to start cheating. No, oh, definitely. I, I, I can't. If you're not caught, then, uh, you know, do it whatever you can to win. Yep. But these two guys are just reversal after reversal. This has been a really good match. Oh, what's Chad Gable thinking? Uh oh. Can it Chaos be? Chaos Theory! Oh, and then into the bridge. Get this One, hit. two. Still Chad, a slow count. Chad Gable did it. He actually beat Roderick Strong in his debut match. You gotta admit, very, that was a good match, Scott. Very, very good competition. But still, Roger Strong should have cheated to win this match. Well, I guess he, you know, he didn't also didn't bring in his undisputed era partner, so he wanted to try to beat Chad Gable himself. And in the end, Chad Gable just, you know, the momentum of his debut match was a little too much for Roger Strong tonight. I thought that's it was it. And that straight jacket uh, suplex that he did. Really, 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 really close. Definitely was really, really close. And Chad Gable, you know, just smacking his hands, saying, you know, it was pretty easy. It was pretty easy. Really good match for Chad Gable in his debut. Mm -hmm. Oh, not this again. The firing squad really teasing that they're coming. Them boys are coming. Yep. But when? Oh, and look at this. Coming soon to FOW, Brian Cage. Are you excited about that, Scotty Bear? Hope he's off the steroids. Oh, will you be serious? Why do you gotta be so negative? And out comes our truth with his beautiful manager, Carmella. What do you think about our truth there, Scotty Barry? You a fan? Um, I don't know what it, this is. Oh, come on. Why? What? What? What's happening? Where's little Jimmy? Oh, come on. Little Jimmy probably got locked up for, uh, you know, uh, some, some druggy drug drugs. He was way better with him. He was way, way better with him. He had a mean streak to him. This is just him going lunatic crazy. Lunatic? He's not Dean Ambrose. Who's Dean Ambrose? John Moxley. Uh, John, John has, or Moxley has had some problems, but you know what? He's going to get better. He got better out when he got out of jail, you know? Yeah. Well, I wonder who is a... Oh, my gosh. It's his... R-Truth's opponent is the debut of Kenny Omega. Oh, boy. And we have... Go ahead. Go ahead, Scotty. Kenny, kill him. But uh, I'm, we haven't even seen teasers of Kenny Omega. This is just a shocker. <laughs> All the way from AEW, Kenny Omega. Yeah, he's taking on Hard Truth in this match. All right. So, do we just call this a squash match and just get it over with? You oh, know, Hard oh, Truth. Hard yeah. Truth. You can just tap. You know, it's gonna be okay. Oh come on. Why you gotta be like this? Our truth is definitely a competitor. He can, he might be able to take Kenny Omega. You never know. Look at him jogging up and down. He's pumped up in this match. Our truth, easy payday. Just tap the mat. We're good. Okay. We don't want you dead. All right. Oh, will you just will you be serious? But well, well, let's see what Kenny Omega has for our truth. Oh my 
you see, you should have just tapped out. You should have just tapped out. Uh, well, I didn't expect that. Oh, look, our truth fighting back a little bit. <laughs> what fight back? <laughs> uh oh. What is this by Kenny Omega? Oh my gosh. Oh my god, right on the neck. That could be it already? In a two count. Nobody's kicked out of the one winged angel. Well, our truth just did at two. And Kenny Omega's just. He's just not letting our truth get involved in any of this match right now. Jesus. What's Kenny Omega thinking? Ooh. Oh, what a splash. Now, you see, he did it for the second rope, which is fine. Oh, uh, come on, what? You don't like him being a. Oh, what is this now? Oh, my gosh. Oof. Oh, jeez. And our truth kicking out again. I'm shocked at this. Two big finishing moves by Kenny Omega. Oh, not oh. another one. He's going to hit it again. Oh, my gosh. One, two. Th oh, and he kicked out. That referee is so damn slow. I can't believe it. Oh, will you be serious? That was good enough. Our truth fighting back. Trying to fight back against Kenny Omega. Oh, look at that good kick. Good enough. I could get molasses faster than he counts. Oh, come on. Stop that. And will you move uh, move out of my way? I'm trying to get some, uh, give me some personal space. Can't believe you. Uh, our truth actually trying to fight back against Kenny Omega. I'm liking this so far by our truth Oh, my God. Well, Kenny Omega, your, your, your breath just went out. Or did it? Well, you never know. And Kenny Omega just just like that with the fireman's carry. Oh, and another DDT. Oh, I don't. Our truth trying to fight back with a clothesline. But Kenny Omega needs that breather. Yep, Kenny. Kenny needs to take a breath. Take slow, deep breaths, and you should be perfectly fine. Went for that spinning clothesline, but oh, Kenny Omega. Giving our truth a little bit of his own medicine. Our truth fighting back still. I'm shocked at this. Kenny Omega might be shocked himself. Well, what are your keys to victory for our truth if he wants to beat Kenny? He needs to keep on holding him down. And that referee should have counted to one. Ref. But Kenny, Kenny needs to keep on working the neck area. Keep on working our truths neck, and he'll be able to win this match for sure. Well, our truth, he just needs Ooh. to tap out. Yeah, well, did you see that knee? I'm telling you, he should have just oh, tapped no. out. Oh my gosh! Yeah, our truth, so. you can still tap out. Come on. Yeah, well, you probably should have. Probably should have. Look at this. I'm telling you. Get oh, another one. Come on, ref count! And that's it. Man, Kenny Omega. Three of those finishing maneuvers on our truth did it. I think, but I think, all in all, I think we could both agree those knees to the face just did it in also. Mm -hmm. The referee was still slow, though. Oh. I told you, our truth, you could pass out and you would have won. He would have won. He would have won some good money. Didn't need to hurt himself too much. Now he's got to pay all that money on the on Hello. the hospital bill after this headshot. I know, but I just love that maneuver right there. That big time just throwing him up in the air and a German suplex into the bridge. Mm -hmm. And he hit him three times with this move. Our truth probably should have just stayed in the back. Indeed, I tell you. I tell people, he should have just tapped out. He would have gotten himself hurt. Oh, well, come on, Kenny. The match is over. Why? Our truth is done. You beat him. What are you... What is this? Oh, my gosh. No, no, no. Not on the outside. Scotty, you can't... No. Oh, my God. I told our truth. He should have just tapped out. Can't believe him. 
Ah, uh, jeez, th that was brutal on the outside. Oh, you must be really excited. Oh, and this yes. again. Ah, oh, the firing squad again. Why? Why? Man, they paid up some good money for their spots. Jeez. I, I know. <laughs> Man, come on now. Oh, now comes uh, Kevin Owens. Ah, uh, I love this from Kevin. Kevin's a big guy. Like yeah. Stan. And, uh, and Bundy, you know? That is true, and I uh, love his new tattoos as well. Good, good brother from Japan. He was yeah. said well with us back then. Yep, and Kevin Owens actually will be taking on Mike Canellis tonight with his uh, lovely lady Maria at ringside. And we already know Mike Canellis is already in the ring, as you can see. Kevin Owens is fierce competitor and he fights anyone. Mm -hmm. I like it. This is a rematch from ROH back in 2013? 14 if I remember oh. correctly? Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I see you working your journalism, finally. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, how's this match gonna end? With Kevin Owens kicking oh. Mike Knowles' face off. Yeah, just like that. And that could be it already. That should have been a two count, ref. Oh my. Did you see that right hand? Man. I told you, you would have done well in Japan. Yeah, that is true. And Kevin Owens is just toying with Mike Kanellis already. You see, Kevin he can't be, you know, doing this all the time. He should be going after the attack because, oh. you know, and stuff just, like that will happen. Yeah, he was trying to jump down the apron and they got... Russian leg sweep, but Mike Canellas just couldn't. He, oh my goodness! Gee, oh my god! Well, goodbye, Canellas. Just, I, I think you should just keep walking up those steps up there, you know, towards the back. Uh -oh. What's up with his tights? Like, I don't get him. Like, I don't, I don't he's got so him. many hearts and stuff on them. I know he's like Billy Gunn 2.0. Can't believe it. I just stole your line. I know you love that one. Oh my! Look at that! Back! Oh! Reverse suplex. Why are you getting so close to me? I can't believe you. You need to stop. Are you trying to touch me or something? No, you're in my personal space. Get out of you're, here. You're in my personal space. And that was my damn Mountain Dew you just took off the announce table. Yeah, you don't need that Mountain Dew. Well, you, you know what? I'll take Drink some water. Pepper. Drink some water. Speaking of Dr. Pepper, you know, uh, this match is actually uh, advertised for Dr. Pepper, the new blueberry Dr. Pepper that just came out for the all the U.S. Tastes like crap. Oh, shut up. That's my favorite soda. I haven't tried the new one yet, but it should be good. Oh, Come what on, is Kevin, Kevin Owens thinking? Well, a big guy trying to hit something like that. What is Maria doing out in the outside? Maria needs to go back home, you know? Take care of the baby. Why is she out on the road? She should have just took that chair and sat down. Oh my! Oh my! Well, I know you like uh, when the neck hits like that. Yep, reminds me of Japan. Uh oh. Do you see Mike Canelli? I was about to say. Mike Canellis was actually laying on top of that chair. That would have been brutal. Yes. <clears throat> oh, Mike Canellis. I know. I can hear you. Now go grab you some water. Uh, you know, ask that damn audio tech to get it for you. There's some Gatorade on the underneath the ring. Hey, yeah. Billy. Water. Yeah. Were well, you on a diet? Shut up. Uh oh. What is this? Oh my gosh, on the neck! The back of the head! It's, oh! I know you've been on the in, ending receipt of like that. Uh oh! Did you see what Kevin Owens was trying to do? Oh uh, yeah. 
going with an ace crusher. Hell yeah. Uh-oh. Hmm? Oh, Centon off the second rope. Oh, Good second job, server. Kevin. He, he He's learned his lesson. Don't go to the top rope. That is true. Now Kevin Owens is toying with Mike Kanellis again. Uh-oh. What is this one now? Uh-oh. That, that can really do some damage on your arm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh that can dislocate your elbow real quick. I can tell you right now, Mike Kanellis, you got 99... Oh, he tried to go for a low blow. Yep. Try to go with an uppercut. Yep, uppercut right to the ding-dong. Oh, and a clothesline. Oh, like I was about to say, Mike Kanellis, you got 99 problems, and Kevin Owens is definitely one. Uh, Kevin Owens is just not taking any damage, really, by Mike Kanellis. Indeed. <clears throat> I'm uh -oh. really... Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. He's just... Just tossing Mike Kanellis and doing some damage like a rag doll. Uh-oh. Oh! Right to the face. It's going to be very interesting to see oh how... Oh my gosh! Can you say broken jaw, Scotty? In indeed. Very much a broken jaw. Is he calling for it? What's he calling for, though? Ace Crusher! Oh, right then and there. And that could be it for Mike Kanellis. Can Kevin Owens win this match? Oh, my gosh! Referee was too damn slow. Oh, I, I gotta give it to Mike Kanellis for just kicking out of that. Referee was still too damn slow. Yeah, well, now Kevin Owens is just... Just gonna keep doing some more damage till he just... There is nothing left in Mike Kanellis. What is this? Uh oh. Look at that right there! Sit down, power bomb. I like Hell the, yeah. I like the little twist in that one, too. Not something we see too much from Kevin Owens. Oh, another super kick. Lights out. And an elbow drop. And Kevin Owens is just. He's showing that nothing can. Oh, look at that! Just fighting back, trying to fight back, DDT! Can Mike Kanellis actually come back in this match and win it? This would be the ultimate comeback. Now is the time to cheat, Mike. Cheat as much as you can. Yep, cheat. Try to get Maria Kanellis involved, maybe? But Kevin Owens just... Maria just needs to go home. Oh, well. Uh-oh! Ankle lock! And, it's, and he's sitting down in it. Oh my goodness, this could break his ankle. And it looks like Kevin Owens is trying to fight back. Kick to the face, kick to the face. Oh my goodness. And you he see should be kicking the hands. He should be kicking the hands more. Because those will do more damage than him kicking him in the face. Oh, that is true. But also, you got to think about it. Kevin Owens also uh, has been targeting the face. And now there's again on the neck and head. Here we go. Bring it home. Ace Crusher. Ace Crusher. And this could be it. Oh man, that's as quick as I've seen the referee go. And Kevin Owens wins this match. Still a slow count. I will say that was the quickest I've seen the referee get down to the pinfall. Well, Mike Kanellis tried to, you know, come back into this match. It would have been an ultimate comeback. But Kevin Owens was just too much of, uh, too fresh and not damaged enough. Again, he should have cheated. I think, I think I'm starting to agree with you, though. I think Maria Kanellis may be too much of a distraction for her husband. Maybe he just wants some of that boot tank. There he is. Look at him in his glory. Stan would be proud. Stan would be proud of you. He would be. Yeah, well, we saw at uh, breaking the chains, he was pretty damn close to winning the international championship. But did not win it, but he did not get pinned either by Seth Rollins. So, so could we see him in the rematch? You never know. Oh my goodness! And you see this. He's got the whole world. 
little oh. tiny video with the little lights of Bray Wyatt, we think. A lot of people's been predicting it. I thought it was the Ramstein's new album. Mm. Oh, come on. This is more scary than you think. Dude, have you listened to that new album? No, I have not, but I think I'm going to have nightmares just watching this and probably listening to the album after the show. <laughs> Follow the buzzards. It's got to be Bray Wyatt. But what version are we going to get in Bray Wyatt? That's the question. Or, or is it something even completely different? Well, you never know. That's a good. That's a good possibility as well. As you can see, our next match, though, Seth Rollins, the new international championship, will go one on one in a non-title match against Mike Elgin. Are you ready for this? Why is Elgin even here? Well, Seth Rollins, I think, wants to give him a little taste of his own medicine, like Mike does, you know, hitting women and all that. Hey, now, allegedly. Allegedly. Oh, you know it's probably true. Oh, I mean, Enzo Amore didn't, uh, you know, have sex with that girl, so anything's possible. Anything's possible for some money, you know. And Mike Elgin's here for his paycheck. But can he actually overcome and beat Seth Rollins, the international champion? That's the question that it's about to be answered. And if he wins his non-title match, that, that could be a future championship opportunity for him as well mm -hmm. but we're live in washington dc ladies and gentlemen and, and i'm excited about this and out the comes. swamp of america oh come on i'd just be serious for two seconds and stop being mean as you can see no scotty bear that championship does look really good on seth rollins Indeed it does. It's almost like he's got a perfect waist for it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. That, you don't really get to see his perfect waist too much because he's got that nice Spider-Man attire on. Indeed. Why do these people have to like Spider-Man? It wasn't that good of a movie. Uh, I hope you're not serious. I am. Spider-Man was good. The new version is really good. Uh, it's just not that it's... I'd love to see Tobey Maguire maybe uh, do a cameo. Now you see, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man 3, that was peak of Spider-Man. <laughs> I kind of agree with you. Brings back childhood memories. I can tell you that right now. But Seth Rollins, I do like this attire. It, it, it does... It is kind of catchy. Red and black. Yeah, it's got the spider webs on the front. Look at that. Reminds me a lot of uh, Abdul the Butcher. Oh, come on. Why are you so negative every second of the day while we're on this show? The only time I'm never negative is around you. Same at you, buddy. Same at you. No, nope. no. Nope. Can we agree on one thing? Mike Elgin definitely does not have the perfect place. Well, he's a big boy, you see? And big boys can do two things really well. Let's see if he can do at least one of them. And, and what are those? What is that? Eat and beat people up. I'm betting he's better at eating or beating people up. Yeah, he's the white version of uh, Dame Drops. Mm. I was going more for Joey's uh, world tour. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess so. But as you can see on his on, on his uh, nice ring attire, entrance ring attire, that jacket is pretty nice. It says Unbreakable. Can he be Unbreakable against Seth Rollins tonight? That's a good question. Indeed. Big Mike! Legendary. And, uh, and, non, and non wrestling ring. 
Yeah, and he's coming to uh, FOW as Mike Elgin and not Michael Elgin because he wanted to be short and short and sweet. That's what he told me uh, earlier today. He said, short and sweet and just like my matches, short and sweet and I'm going to beat all my opponents, so. Let's see. Good, good possibility, that big boy. Oh, Seth Rollins right off the gate. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Seth Rollins just funny. Oof. Oh, but maybe just too much uh, momentum already. Oh, look at the power by Mike Elgin. Oh, oh my. All right. I like this side of Mike Elgin. I've never seen it. Aggressive. I'm telling you, he was one of the two. Well, uh, so how aggressive he is in this match so far against Seth Rollins. Maybe he does beat women. Allegedly. Allegedly. I'm start. I'm starting to believe that Mike Elgin could be a future world heavyweight champion in FOW. And look at a chop, and then reversal chop. You know all those good things. And Seth Rollins fighting back. Ooh, running knee. Triple H style. And the referee slow. Big Mike needs to start working on the back of Seth Rollins indeed for sure. He's got to be worried very much about Seth Rollins' speed. But if he can take out that back, he'll slow him down for sure. Or the uh, injured knee that Seth Rollins has had before. Look at that. Oh, but misses. Ah, uh, but Mike Logan thinks that could be it. But the ref count was point. too fast. How was that too fast? <coughs> uh oh, what is this? Oh no! Oh, right on the throat! Ah! Oh. You can watch out for that. You you could really injure your windpipe there. A uh, nice roll up. Yep. He needs to really start working on Mike's neck. If he works on Mike's neck, he can easily hit the stop that he's got. Oh, just like that, right there on the neck. Neck breaker re reversal. This is a pretty decent match from these two. You mm -hmm. got your powerhouse of Mike Elgin, and you got your speed in Seth Rollins. But what is Seth Rollins thinking here? He's going with the superplex. Uh-oh. And normally, you know what he's going to do after that. Falcon, Falcon arrow. arrow. This could be it too. Oh my gosh, that was close. That was truly close. Uh oh. Oof. Ooh. Right on the face, and that could be it also. And you see, token. you see, the ref should be dropping down immediately instead of walking to the person. Uh, I kind of agree with you on that one. I'm not going to lie. What is Seth Rollins? Oh, nice elbow drop from the top rope. Going for the cover. This could be it. Macho Man's was better. Oh, will you be serious? Yes, I agree with you on that one, but Seth Rollins does a beautiful one as well. As <coughs> good as Bailey's. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're so negative, and Bailey is cute. Uh oh, what is this? Seth Rollins' own buckle buster, whatever you want to call that, buckle bomb, right? Yep, it's a buckle bomb. Oh, uh, I had a brain fart. Oh, an instaguri out of nowhere. That's that would be an instaguri. Instaguri. Okay. I'm 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 having brain farts right here because I'm too pissed off at this referee for counting so slow and too fast. Uh oh. Ooh. Good job, oh. Michael. I think Seth Rollins was looking for that curb stomp to end that match, too. Oh, look at that. Just, I don't know if you want to actually go fist to fist and chop the chop with Mike Elgin. Uh, look at that. Uh, acting like Rusev in the ring. Indeed. He needs to get that animalistic spirit going. Yeah, that's also... Uh, what is Mike Elgin thinking outside? Seth Rollins fighting back with elbows to the midsection here. I think they need to get back in the ring here soon. 
Yes. Three is the thing at four, five? No, it's a five. Oh, now it's a five. And face first against on top the Spanish announce table. That Spanish Dude. announce table always gets fucked up, don't it? Indeed it does. And yes, I said but, fucked up. But, did you see Seth Rollins not jumping off the top rope? Yeah, that was actually see? maybe a smart choice by Seth Rollins. You see, I'm telling you people, don't jump off the top rope. What are you, Drew Gulak? No, but I do agree with his policies. Sometimes I do too. Oh, look at that! Spinning heel kick. What is Seth Rollins going to do now to Michael Elgin? Oh, Ooh. right to the chin. Seth Rollins is in control of this match, though. Oh, but Mike Elgin spoke too soon for me. Belly to belly suplex. El Elgin needs to start working on the back. He yeah, needs to get that like finisher he, on. Just like he just did. You're right. But sp the speed of Seth Rollins against the power and the reversal. Look at that. Oh, and I think he was trying to kick him in the midsection for the curb stomp. But Mike mm -hmm. Elgin had, did not have any... Oh, I can't even talk again. He didn't have anything on it there. Look yeah. at this. Oh my gosh, the strength in that clothesline. Mike needs to go back to Japan and work again because, man, he did so great in Japan. Well, he's are, you sm are you smoking here? Put yeah. that cigarette no, out. The, I can't no, believe you. The, that smoke was not for me. That's actually from the damn fan behind us. Damn it. Jeez. Going for a pinfall. <laughs> this could be it. Oh, but Seth Rollins. What do you got a fog machine over here? Can't believe you. I know. And did you see what Mike Elgin just did? He's yelling at the referee. That was a three count. You see? Mike knows. Mike knows. Now look at the strength just ripping his leg and throwing him. Michael Elgin's in control of this match. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. Seth, what are you doing? What you doing, Seth? Uh-oh. Is, is he going again for another superplex? Yes, he is, it looks like. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. oh, look at that difference. I thought it was going to be something different. Super Falcon Arrow. Uh-oh. <coughs> Kick to the jaw again. Uh-oh. It looks like Seth Rollins is calling for it. Both men have been really good in this match. Kick to the midsection. Seth Rollins going for it. Curb the stomp. Uh-oh. Referee's saying he's got to check on Mike Elgin after that. He, I think I saw a two fly out. Pin. Going for the cover. This could be it. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Did you see that kick out coming? Elgin, big guy. He knows when to kick out and he knows when not to kick yeah. out. Yeah, well, Seth Rollins going for it again and another curb stomp. And Jesus. we can see the replay brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings Blazing Hot Sauce. Oh, I guess uh, the truck... Uh, our uh, video operator in the back messed up there and didn't even show us. Yeah, can't believe you guys in the back. Damn it, you Kyle. Damn it. <laughs> Kyle's working? I thought it was Bob. Uh, Bob's the old 60-year-old that does the audio technician. Oh, uh, I love Bob. Bob, you a good guy, Bob. I know. About to have his retirement, too. I can't believe I Mike Elgin is even up after two curb stomps. That tells you that Mike Elgin is a competitor like crazy. And Seth Rollins' is momentum. What was that? Oh my gosh, just... I don't even know what the hell that was, but Seth Rollins... Forearms. Back. Oh, 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 okay. Uh -oh. Germans. Oh, right into the turnbuckle. Oof. Oh my gosh, Seth... Yeah, Seth, you might need a breather after that one. Oh, Ooh, right there. Are you sure about that? Well, well, you said it worked on that neck of Mike Elgin. And that's concrete that he, he hit, too, on the neck. It, referee might be... Oh, well, Mike Elgin's getting up. I thought he could count to, like, 100. Well, he's still down. Oh, 
oh, this has been a good here old, comes another a third one curb stomp again you going for the pin yep, looks like he's uh dragging him to the middle of the ring so you can't hit the rope or anything one two three and that's it seth rollins winning with three curb stomps but you gotta give it to mike elgin in this match he definitely showed some abilities in this match to really give Seth Rollins a run for his money. Elgin doing great work in this match. Should have done a little bit better. I think just maybe somebody helping him out, making sure he's focused a little bit more. And I think he could be a world champion one day. Well, I agree with you. Maybe he'll get a manager here soon down the road. But Seth Rollins, the international champion, you know... Keeping the momentum going, yeah, I, I want to see who he has to, who he's gonna face at Mayhem. That's a question for another day, though. Seth mm -hmm. Rollins, though, winning again. Did a good job tonight, but let's see if he can keep that momentum going. That's true. That is true. Oh <laughs> look, <laughs> third one, Jesus. Oh, that was a quickie. <laughs> yep, that was a Hibiki quickie there. Uh-oh, and look who it is! The debut of Street Profits! <laughs> oh, you like this song? Do you like these guys? I haven't seen them perform yet, so... Well, Let's see what these boys can do. I hope that's uh, that Janet Juice in his uh, cup there. Have, have we done an alcohol test on this man? Uh, I don't know. Might have to test him for this match. But the question is, who are they facing in the tag team division? You know, you got the Hardys, the Young Bucks, uh, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish from the Undisputed Era. There's been rumblings of uh, a new tag team coming in. You, you know, all kinds of tag teams that could be involved. I don't even. I think he's done spilt the damn drink about 800 times. Is there anything in that fucking cup? I'm telling you, he's drunk. He probably doesn't drink the whole damn thing in the back. Is he could be even. Is he even going to be capable of even wrestling? <clears throat> Look at them dance moves. He's definitely drunk. Oh, well, the Street Profits cooking up something here. Just question <laughs> is, who are they going to face? <clears throat> That's a question we're about to be answered here. Who is it? Let's see. Okay. What? No way. We just saw the teasers! The three teas They're here? <laughs> oh, the mind games from the firing squad! Boys get ready to be stiff! Oh, stiff. Mm. They they might want to be drunk in the damn ring because they're about to get their ass whooped. <laughs> In this. I guess your your predictions uh the firing squad. But can you can Tama you... Tonga Tonga Loa y'all gonna get some booty tonight Some booty Indeed Well I'm shocked that these guys are here after doing the three teasers during this whole damn show and paying what three million dollars for teasers and they're here three? tonight Three million dollars for teasers, Jesus! <laughs> well, well, it's expensive nowadays. Uh oh, look, the drunk guy is actually working. Uh, Mon, what's his name? Montez. Montez Ford, taking Ooh. on uh, Tonga right now. Tama. Tama Tonga. Yep. And he's actually doing what... pretty good. Look at that drop kick to the back of yeah. the neck. Okay, they're trying to prove that they they're not scared. They're not intimidated here. Kids, kids got spunk. Kids got spunk. 
Yes, he does. Oh, jawbreaker! Okay, I see them working, trying to prove something in this match. Both tag teams actually debuting tonight, too. Indeed. Oh, uh, what's this? Oh, uh, I've been over. Oh, right on the back. That's got to hurt. That definitely had to hurt there. Indeed. Now you got in Angelo Dawkins here in the ring. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. Seems like the crowd isn't really huge fans of Tama Tonga. Oh, they're they're intimidating. They're scary. They're I don't know. They they they're just now seeing what these guys can do. And look at that up and over DDT. I like that. Tonga Loa, I would say, is one of the most underrated big men of our sport. That is a, a truth there. And what is this? Uh oh. Oh, nice splash. Clothesline by the big man. That, that would be a lariat. A lariat. That, that was a good. That was good tag team wrestling. Oh, kick to the midsection. Oh, nice flying forearm. I'm starting to agree with you on the most un one of the most underrated. Nice reversal by Montez Ford, though. <clears throat> We're still got the moving going. Yep. Let's oh. see if that continues. And that was smart working on the knee. Let's see if the tag. T oh, look at that! What what do you call that one? Something. Spinning splash. I don't, I don't know. Drunken splash. I don't, I don't. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Drunken we'll, splash. We'll go with that. Drunken splash. Wonder what was in that damn cup. Yeah. I'm still curious. Wonder, I'm wondering if Arn Anderson is uh, booking this match. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. We're not gonna go there. Well, I can just say right now, Alicia Fox, uh, Alicia. Oh, in the words of, um, well, what's his name? Oh, jeez, now I can't even think. In the words of, uh, what? Uh, I can't remember his damn name, but Alicia Fox and not Fox, you know. Fox. That'd be Noam Dar. I know. I don't know why I kept for Gil. Nice Instagram there. <laughs> we haven't seen him, so that's no, why. Oh, and look at that. You know, tit for tat. And Joe well, Dawkins is doing really, really well against these guys. I'm wondering why he's in the tag team. Oh, Montez Ford, you know, small, skinny, skinny guy. Look at that. Oh. Okay, uh, I I like that right there. Nice elbow drop. We haven't seen much tag team wrestling by Firing Squad just yet. We've we've seen it from the Street Profits. Oh, well, nice. you see, well, you see, sometimes you don't really need to do double teams. You if you use double teams, it'll help. But you gotta start working on them all by yourself just to be careful. Yeah, just like that, knocking uh, Montez Ford right off the apron. Yeah, he was saying a racial slur. Oh, th will you be serious? You see, these boys are doing way, way better than the young bucks are doing. Like, those boys will cheat Ooh. whenever they can. Ooh. Not like our firing squad here. I know, but did you see that? Right on the fourth. Oh my... He just dropped him, his head right on his knee. And just like that, the firing squad beat the Street Profits. Just, just like that. That was quick. And you're just singing because you're happy the firing squad's here, aren't you? Oh, hell yeah. Well, we can see the future of the tag team, vi the, div uh, the tag team division. Clearly right now, the firing squad's here to stay. Yep. Uh, maybe a future tag team match with Firing Squad and Young Bucks? Question yep. mark? They'll destroy him. Firing Squad will destroy the Young Bucks. And Indeed. Can, Indeed. And you can... Oh, come on. Stop getting... What are you getting? Social media? Uh, I, I, I'm just got a tweet. Did you get that same tweet? The fans are wondering what's next for the Firing Squad already. 
Uh, no, that was actually a message from my wife. Oh my gosh. Did she ask for a divorce? No, no, no. Something way better. Wait, what the heck is what, this? What the, what the? Hang on, what? Is that, that's, can you make a, is he attacking? No, 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 no. Not off the tractor trailer. What the hell? Oh, but, Scotty, what the hell did we just see? Uh. What, what the? What the hell? Bob, did you know anything about that? No? You, you did? Somebody get to the back and check on Finn Balor. I think he died. Somebody get back there. The. Why did Kenny. What the. Uh, I, I'm lost for words. I, what the. What the fuck did we just see? Uh, I, I think. I think. I think we just witnessed. A Kenny. murder? Uh, maybe. Somebody I don't know. Get back there. Get Phoenix right on the case. He'll do the job. Oh my. Call the fashion files or some shit. What are they good for? <laughs> well, are you ready for this? I, I don't. I can't even. I don't even. I don't even know if I can even do this game again. Uh, don't worry. It's the Young Bucks getting their asses kicked, so it should be easy. Well, yeah, we well, got AJ Styles teaming up tonight with the Dudley Boys against CM Punk and the Young Bucks, but I, I don't even know if I can commentate. Somebody get back there and give us an update on Finn Balor. Why did Kenny Omega target Finn Balor and throw him off a tractor trailer? What... Why were they on the tractor trailer to begin with? Were they fighting that whole time that taxi match happened? Maybe? I don't know. Finn Balor just won the Destined for Greatness briefcase, too. Is that why Kenny Omega did that? I mean, that's a possibility. I, we, I legit, mean, just, we, we legit just saw Kenny Omega debut against R-Truth and brutally destroy him in that match. And now we see him backstage throwing Finn Balor up a tractor trailer. I mean, they've had history in Japan. What questions need to be answered? That, that's all I gotta say. Somebody, uh, I'm being told that officials are right now actually checking on Finn Balor, and he is now in a neck brace, and they are just they are loading him up in an ambulance right now, and he has not come to yet. He's not responding to any of the paramedics or anything right now. Man, they must have forgotten to put the mattresses down there too. Uh, uh, just, uh, I, I, just be serious for right one second, Scotty. Uh, what did we just witness? Like, well, shenanigans. Well, shenanigans just may have cost uh, Finn Balor his career possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, I, Oh, God. Well, you're happy. The tag team champions, the Young Bucks. And we we can uh, now officially announce the Dudleys will be the next challengers for young, young Bucks tag team champions at Mayhem. And CM Punk will defend the FOW championship against AJ Styles. So, here's my question. Why does C. Young Punk have to degrade himself with these bucks of youth? Like, they're not even young. Jim Tony kind of put together this match, so it wasn't really... CM Punk, I don't think he... I don't know if he really wanted to be in this match. I don't think he wants to face AJ Styles again. Jim Tony needs, like, priorities checked, because... CM Punk should not be degrading himself with these bucks of youth. Oh, come on. They, they, they have proven to a shadow of a doubt that, that they are really good as a tag team. The brothers are the tag team champions. They've proven everything that you, you know, you may not agree with it, but that new FOW champion, I said it last week, and I'll say it again, it looks really good, and especially on CM Punk. Indeed. Punk, the greatest champion of all time. Look at him. 
He's got, he's got the face. He's got the power. He's got the microphone. He's got everything. Yep, he is uh, one of the best on the mic. I'm watching you, bully. He looks like he was about ready to attack our champion. I don't agree with that. Teddy, is Teddy uh, lung in uh, Jim Tunney's ear? By, I don't know. By way? I, I, I don't know. I don't. <clears throat> I don't know. But starting this match off with Devon Dudley and Matt Jackson of the Young Bucks, or if you want to call them the Old Bucks, I know you like what you like to do. But I like this wrestling, wrestling one on one with the Dudleys and the Young Bucks. That's kind of shocker. The Young Bucks wouldn't stand a day. And OJPW. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. You continue to be negative. You continue to be negative. I'm not negative. I just don't like the Bucks. The Bucks are immature, unrationable little midgets that can't do anything right. Whereas CM Punk is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. Oh, yeah, you do... He is the best in the world for a reason, so... Yeah. Uh, what do you think about AJ Styles getting one one op one last opportunity for the FOW champion against CM Punk? AJ has to cheat to win. That's all, that's all I will say. I don't think if it's a fair one-on-one -on -one matchup, CM Punk will always win that. But, when it, but if AJ Styles cheats and wins, he's got a good chance. Yeah, that is true, but look! Look at this, Matt Jackson tagging in Nick Jackson now. Oh, look Nick, for him. Nick, the more flippy of the two. Yeah, that is true. I know that. That's definitely right. I agree with you. Matt Jackson is more uh, like the aggressive, you know, beat down his opponent. He's 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 more of like a chinchilla, <laughs> that is way too aggressive. That is true. I don't know what Nick Jackson was thinking there, trying to, I guess, splash Devon so he didn't get the hot tag to AJ Styles, but, oh, nice forearm by AJ. AJ's got to be very careful. These bucks of youth are wily ones, you know, they like yeah. to cheat stuff. Oh, you were right. Look, the mo the Nick is definitely the more uh, high-flying. Thought that could have been it on AJ Styles with that splash. What was that? <laughs> oh my! Just kicking him right in the knee, right in the kneecap. Look, look more like the shin area, but you know. He grabbed for his knee. Maybe it kind of like twisted it a little bit, kicking his yeah. shin. Gotta watch maybe this. I don't know. Yeah. I have a torn ACL real quick. And a nice tag. It looks like double team action by. The the Young Bucks, what is this? Uh oh. Shades of the Shield! Assisted oh. power bomb. Good. Stealing moves from people, too. That's great. Now, here he is. Oh, Here's this is the smart. champion. Well, come on. CM Punk would tag in when AJ Styles is down. But AJ Styles is fighting back just right off the bat. CM Punk did not. I bet he didn't want that to happen, but. And look at the just like these two are two of the best in the world reversing each other's moves because they know each other real well indeed but CM Punk needs to be very careful now with the with 3d in the with the corner yep, the, with him, them in the mix you never know now mm -hmm. Devon's in this match and I like Devon he's I, I do miss the uh, testify the you missed his preacher gimmick Oh, yeah, I do miss that. Uh-oh. Jeez, what a mark. See ya, Anyways. Uh, anyways, you can see yep. it. Come on. You got it. Hold it up. Lift up. Do a little bit more. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Squeeze it. This could be it. And he's about to tap out. Can he... Will he tap out? Can Devon fight back? I'm very oh surprised. Gosh. I'm he's very surprised. This hold is on for quite some time now. Yeah, but I'm that's... wondering, I'm wondering how, 
how Devon's arm is feeling right now. Like a like a spaghetti noodle I'm betting. Oh, well, you know, he's got to tag out to Bubble Ray Dudley. First time he, we're seeing him in the match. And CM Punk! Ooh. Ooh! Didn't get all of that, but he got enough, didn't he? Indeed. He should have jumped a little bit farther, getting the boots kind of more close to the ropes. He would have gotten that. A, he would have gotten a great hit on that. Yeah, that is definitely right, but you also have to know that the Young Bucks were on the ropes, too, so maybe that could have been a factor. Yeah. Nick Jackson in control of this match unless Bubba Ray can fight back. Oh, what a drop kick. Not even knocking Bubba Ray Dudley down. Oh, I told you. Slam. I told Ray. you. They're, they're too small for this division. They need they need to start working and getting a little bit bigger, you know? Especially Nick Jackson out of the two. He is definitely smaller than Matt. Uh oh! Oh, pile driver! Oh, that is banned in like 50 states. Well, we're in Washington D.C., so it's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh oh! Bubble bomb! Oh, uh, bubble bomb! And you, that is dangerous on the back of the spine. This could be it, but oh, see him! Oh, uh, uh, just kicked him. Yeah, he could have. I think Bubba Ray's pissed off at see him plunk there. Yeah. I thought that could have been it. Oh, look at that! Bubba Ray with the arm crossbreaker. I don't see that too often by a big man like Bubba. But yeah. But I can't believe the strength of getting out of that by Nick. Oh. Tag it in CM Punk. I thought he was gonna tag in Matt there. Ooh, good. Nice good and corkscrew. Now tagging in Matt Jackson and Devon's back in the match. What's Nick doing? I, I don't know. Referee's counting him out, too. Uh-oh, what is this? Ooh, okay. That was a different neck breaker. I'm going up top. Normally, Matt doesn't do that. It's normally Nick. What is this? Oh! I keep oh. on telling people, don't jump off the top rope. It's going to get reversed. Nobody listens to Ooh. me. Did you see that? Sort of like dropkick Instaguri. Oh, working on the knee. Indeed. I'm telling you guys, Devon is not known as one of the great wrestlers of the tag division, but if you get him in the right place at uh -oh. the right time, he's Ooh. pretty good. Man, that was a that was a really good m maneuver by Matt. Super kick. Oh. Super kick. That was beautifully done. Indeed, it can be done beautifully, but uh -oh. not by the Bucks. Uh oh, is this the double super kick? Bam! Ooh. Oh, I'm tagging in CM Punk. CM Punk wanted in. What is this? Here uh -oh. we go. GTS on Devon. And he hit Kento it. Kento would be proud. Oh, and he hit it. Perfect. Moving just a little bit. Smart by CM Punk going for the cover. One, two, AJ, AJ Styles. Styles. Can't believe he burns his tag like that. You know that Oof. Oh, CM Punk knocking AJ Styles off the One. apron. One. Okay, this referee's too oh. damn slow. <laughs> kind of agree with you on that. <laughs> Bubba Ray just out of nowhere just. I would be interested in seeing Bubba Ray challenge CM Punk for the title as well. well. That would be a good possibility as well, and I think that would be interesting, intriguing. Oh, oh, went for that kick to the head. Ooh, spine stand buster. Standing spine buster. Oh, I like that. That was big time by Devon Dudley. CM Punk. Oh, I thought he was going to try to get a tag and a double team, but did not happen. Ooh. Just working Devon in the corner. Mm-hmm. Well it was. No, he, he was working he was working him in the wrong corner, I will tell you that. He should have been working with him in the corner where Buck wasn't standing. Oh, uh, here comes Bubba. 
and tagging in Matt, he says, "Oh well, let me go get a breather. I'm the champion." Yeah. You young bucks do it. He 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 needs a breather. He's 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 been he's a world champion. That is true. He's yeah. he is not a tag team wrestler. Ooh! Did you see that double team? Mm-hmm. Oh, punk! No, 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 no! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, oh. You see, oh, punk! I can't believe you did that. Oh, uh, well, you're forgiven. So. Eh, you're the champion still. Oh. Yep. But just don't speak too soon, CM Punk. Don't give up. Oh, look at these reversals. And the big man in Bubba Ray. That now it is intriguing to see. What if Bubba Ray does that in the future? That uh, goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Oof. look at that! Just standing German flippy stuff. Yeah, and, and Bubba Ray just made him look like a a sack of potatoes, just tossing that. Mhm. Mm I'm really interested in seeing what happens next here, because you still need to get AJ in this match still. I know, and we haven't seen much of him at all. Yeah, because Devon is definitely has been seeing some time in this match, and it's not doing him well. No, it's not. So, so I, I, I'm wondering why we haven't gotten a lot of AJ or Bubba. Oh, Bubba! Look at the cheating by Bubba. Good job, Bubba. It's a good job for him. He needs to do that. Oh, went for a drop kick and missed it. Oh, kick to the back of the leg. Ooh. Tag so in we got that. a double team. And maybe that's what CM Punk wants is AJ Styles not to get involved in this match when he definitely when he's in the ring. So that's another thing that you gotta understand. But you would if you were CM Punk, you would Oh, nice spear by Matt. Don't go for the middle. But Bubba Ray fighting back. You would think, though, if CM Punk, you, you would want AJ Styles to get a, a lot of the end of this match, and you know the Young Bucks maybe take him out. Oh, and a mm -hmm. super kick out of nowhere, and just talking crap to Devon right there. You saw it. Yeah. Um. Quick question. What, what's the update for Finn? Oh, I'm still waiting on that update for Finn. I haven't heard yeah. anything yet. I, I've I've just been thinking about it. Like, what if Kenny does something tonight? It's still not over. I know. Oh, look at the sharpshooter on Bubba, but the strength of Bubba is crawling to try to get a tag to one of his teammates. Indeed. Oop! Reversed. The big man and Bubba. I hey, know. Tagging Matt Jackson back in again. Oof. And a clothesline by the bigger one, bigger man of young of the young bucks. And CM bigger Punk. young man. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. uh, see. CM Punk, of course, again when somebody's down, he wants in the match. Well, yeah, wouldn't you? If it was easy picking oh. for you, you wouldn't. Do, you wouldn't do that too. Well, that, I don't know. I don't know if I could cheat. Uh, or, uh, or you know, hit somebody when he's down. I want him face to face. And CM Punk going for a second opportunity in the GTS. Will it be reversed again? And no, it won't. And knocking Devon out. Knocking AJ Styles off the throat. CM Punk better go for that cover now. Here, Referee, one, on. two, three. And CM um, Punk wins with the Young Bucks. You see, I'm I'm not happy at all with this. Because that means the Young Bucks have won. But I'm also a little bit happy because CM Punk won. You're never happy, are you? I said I'm a little happy. Well, CM Punk did not pin AJ Styles. And AJ Styles might be really upset he was not really involved in this match. But they really took it to the Dudleys and really tripled, you know, it was basically a handicap match towards the end. Yeah, I'm very surprised about what the Dudleys did with their tagging in the match. I know you would think you would want to tag in AJ Styles more often, because he is yes. a phenomenal one, but 
the Young Bucks actually, you gotta give it to them. You gotta give them props. You know, they were smart, and they did tag in the champion because they know who they had in the in in their team. But that was the main event of Future of Wrestling. And uh, Scotty, next week we have an action-packed show, and hopefully we have an update. Well, now actually, I'm now in my headset right now. I'm being told H. I mean Finn Balor is at the local hospital, and we will find out more later down the road. But ladies and gentlemen, that's been Future Wrestling, and Scotty, thank you for coming on, and hopefully you get paid when you get to the back. Yeah, hopefully not a hot dog and a handshake. Uh, uh, but good night, everyone. You dorks. Will you be serious?